Good evening, you're watching the news from the Salted Overman Television. Firstly, headlines. The State Council approves suggestions of reality of sports clubs' services and issuing of law of regulating biotechnics usages. The Minister of Agriculture and Fisheries, Wealth and Fowl sign agreement of implementing project of developing and managing small pelagics in the Salted. And the Minister of Education signs four agreements with private universities concerning the pre-service teacher preparation program. Those are the headlines and now the news in detail. The State Council discussed today the suggestions provided by the Social Committee the reality of sports clubs provided services and means of benefiting from them for the community service. The Council also started during its uh, 16th regular session for the fourth annual round of the sixth term the suggestion provided by the Special Committee about issuing a law to organize uses of biotechnology, its production and protecting genetic data in the Salted. The first study prepared by the Social Committee clarified the role of clubs in absorbing various society segments has declined in addition to the weak service level and revenues besides the infrastructure of some clubs for practicing various activities. The second study provided by the Committee showed the accelerated development witnessed by the technology which required governmental and private bodies to stand on needed regulations to develop and regulate their uses within a framework that supported public interest. The meeting was presided over by His Excellency Yahya bin Mahfouz al-Mandari, Chairman of the State Council. The Minister of Agriculture and Fisheries Wealth and Food and Agriculture Organization FAO office in the Salted signed a cooperation agreement on the implementation of the small pelagics development and management project in the Salted. The implementation of this agreement came to ensure the sustainability of small surface fisheries in the Salted and increase the revenues of these fishery products through the development of value-added fisheries industries in addition to provide new job opportunities for the national manpower. The project will be implemented in September and in partnership between international experts from FAO and their counterparts at the national level. Small pelagics of various types represents a high percentage of the total annual production of the sector. These species are exp exploited in both the Sea of Oman and the Arabian Sea by artisanal fishermen using traditional fishing equipment and the quantities that can be exploited are higher than what is produced by the traditional fishing sector at the current time. The Ministry of Education signed four agreements with private universities in the Salted. The agreements are concerned with pre-service teacher preparation program. More details in the following report by Saleh bin Khalfan Rahbi. As part of its ongoing programs to prepare qualified teachers and particularly to develop teaching practice program for teacher students, the Ministry of Education signed four cooperation agreements with Suhar University, Bufar University, Nizwa University and Asharqiya University. This agreement is uh, part of ongoing process uh, to uh, ensure that uh, pre-service teachers uh, programs are matching the quality that Minister of Education is expected. Uh, the agreement uh, draws special attention to the uh, important part of uh, pre-service teacher uh, preparation programs, which uh, the field uh, work. Teaching practice program is an integral component of preparing teachers. As per the agreements, those private universities will equip the pre-service teachers with the skills required to help them excel in teaching. Investment in education is the most important thing a nation can do. And His Majesty has taken big steps to give all young Omanis a chance to improve their lives and uh, help the 
the nation rise. So I think the relationship with the ministry and the universities uh, is a very uh, strong sign of the long-term commitment to helping develop uh, teaching and education in Oman and get the schools raising standards and helping universities raise standards too. So I think it's a very important event. The cooperation program includes specific criteria for the supervisors who will follow up the training of the candidates enrolled in the teacher preparation programs. It also includes conditions related to the schools that will be chosen to train the teacher students. The signing of these agreements today will contribute to enhancing the quality of education in the country. For the Sultanate of Oman Television, Saleh Mokhalfan al Rahbi, Muscat. On other news, the power sharing agreements reached between Sudan's military and pro democracy protesters last week came after the United States and its Arab allies applied intense pressure on both sides amid fears of prolonged crisis could tip the country into civil war. The agreement, which raised hopes of a democratic transition following the military overthrow of long ruling Omar al Bashir in April, was announced days after the protesters held in mass marches through Khartoum and other areas. The two sides agreed on a jointly run sovereign council that will rule for a little over three years. While elections are organized, a military leader will head the council for the first 21 months, followed by a civilian leader for the next 18 months. A French envoy was due in Tehran today to boost European efforts to save the 2015 nuclear deal after Iran warned Europe against retaliatory measures for breaching a uranium enrichment cap. The accord between Tehran and world powers promised sanctions relief, economic benefits, and an end to international isolation of the Islamic Republic in return for stringent curbs on its nuclear program. But uh, Tehran said he has lost patience with perceived inaction by European countries more than a year after President Donald Trump pulled the United States out of the landmark agreement. French President Emmanuel Macron sent his top diplomatic advisor to Tehran after Iran announced on Monday it had passed 4.5% uranium enrichment above the 3.7% limit under the agreement. The French presidency's office said Emmanuel Boy will be in Tehran until tomorrow and he's there to piece together a de-escalation strategy. To the Camera News Bulletin. A hillside past Robles, California has been brought to life with thousands of colorful solar-powered lights. Welcome back to the news from the Sultan Oman Television. With the participation of 20 institutions from public and private sector, the Social Development Department in SIB organized a job and training fair today. More details on foreign report by Saleh bin Khalfan Rahbi. Within the activities of the sixth social week, the Ministry of Social Development, represented by the Social Development Department in SIB, held a job fair for the job seekers from the social security and low income category. This exhibition comes uh, with the activities of the sixth social week to serve the job seekers uh, through offers, uh, them training and job opportunities. 20 entities from the public and private sectors participated in the fair, 
giving the attendees a close insight about the available vacancies and the training posts. All these uh, organizations and companies, they're all gathering in one place and uh, for those who are seeking jobs, all job seekers basically, all the students who graduated, all graduates and everything, they all gather here basically, find all the job opportunities and the training opportunities if uh, present. Uh, in one place instead of going to many different places, you know, so it facilitates the whole uh, process. I'm so happy because today, uh, uh, today I'm here in exhibition. Uh, this exhibition uh, uh, helps people to get job or training and giving some people advice how to go to the interview or what uh, like advice how to go to the job. The event was also a chance for the fresh graduates to gain valuable knowledge about ways that help them to be fully ready for the job market. For the Sultanate of Amman Television, Saleh bin Khalfan al Rahbi, Muscat. The Ministry of Commerce and Industry has started the Omani system for the issuance of energy efficiency cards for air conditioners, which is an electronic platform that provides these cards. The card is designed in accordance with the Omani GCC standards for energy efficiency requirement and minimum limits for energy efficiency of air conditioners to inform the consumer and provide them with necessary information about the efficiency of the air conditioners before buying to help them choose ones with better performance, less electricity consumption and longer life. Oman Chamber of Commerce and Industry in the Governorate of Bufar organized a workshop entitled Activating Technical Support Unit to upgrade the business environment in the Governorate in particular and in the Sultanate in general. The workshop seeks to provide packages of services and means of support for companies in the Governorate and enhancing cooperation between companies and public sector institutions. The opening ceremony was presided over under the auspices of His Excellency Sheikh Salim bin Afet al Shanfari, Chairman of the Far Municipality. Commodore Yu Byung Ku, Commander of the Joint Task Force 150 in South Korea, visited the Marine Security Center. He was briefed on the missions and roles of the center that includes management and leading of marine security operations, search and rescue operations and preservation of marine environment from various risks. The guests also viewed the modern equipment and appliances used in supporting marine security operations. A ceremony was held in the Directorate General of Endowment and Religious Affairs in the Government of Bufar for the conclusion of the Holy Quran competition. More than 80 male and female students from various memorization levels were honored. The competition aimed at encouraging students to recite and memorize the Holy Quran. It also sought to instill for the young generation the noble values and principles of the Holy Quran. It consisted of five levels as per the age of participating students. Under the theme, Power of Colors, Muscat Municipality organized a two-week summer workshop for children in Beit al-Baranda in Matrah. 37 children joined the workshop that is aimed at promoting the artistic painting and drawing talents under themes relating to environment and nature. During the workshop, participants turned carpets and materials found near beaches or at sea into an artistic works. Participants were also taught to be environmentally conscious when using colors or materials to minimize impact on environment and recycle junks into useful products like vessels or garden pots. A hillside in Paso Robles in California has been brought to life with thousands of colored solar-powered lights more details in the following report. Thousands of color-changing fiber optic lights transform a Paso Robles landscape at the long-awaited art display of Highway 46 East in California. 
The Field of Light exhibition by British artist Bruce Munro, who is known for his large-scale lights installations, is made up of 58,000 stained glass globes lit by fiber optics that illuminate the hills in a patchwork of ever-changing colors and draw attention to the shadowy outlines of the oak trees scattered around the site. I think it's amazing. Um, it's like walking through a liquid Monet painting that is just so beautiful and inspiring and calming and it's just it's something to see. It's, pictures don't do it justice. You have to be here to see it. Visitors walk through the exhibition set in 15 acres of rolling hills as the lights change color and wave in the breeze. The display is lit around dusk, but the magic really starts as the landscape transitions into darkness. You know, Walkways built into the landscape guide visitors around the display, giving them multiple angles and heights from which to view the lights. It's, I think more than we thought it was going to be. Yeah. It's spectacular. The color, the lights, the interaction of technology and, I don't know, visual art. It was beautiful. The Field of Light at Sensorio is a massive illuminated installation that fills 15 acres of oak tree lined fields. The solar powered display was installed as an introduction to Sensorio, a garden and interactive art attraction. The exhibition is Monroe's biggest to date. He has been installing Field of Light displays at different locations around the world. Now for the general forecast around this altar, it's clear skies with very little most of the governorates with chances of low clouds and fog late at night and early morning of the coast of the Arabian Sea. Clear to partly cloudy skies with chances of intermittent drizzle are expected of the government of the far and winds will be south easterly light to moderate and seas will be slight with moderate with a maximum wave height of 2 meters. This is the sound of my television before we enter nice bulletin here the main points once again. The State Council approves suggestions of reality of sports clubs services and issuing the law of regulating biotechnics usages. The Minister of Agriculture and Fisheries Wealth and Fowl signed agreement of inventing project of developing and managing small pelagics in the South. And the Ministry of Education signs four agreements with private universities concerning pre-service teacher preparation program. And with that, we come to the end of tonight's news bulletin from all of us here in the newsroom in the studios. Thanks for your time. Good night.